So look, <laughs> today's video topic is a man's sexual energy can be used to fuel his motivation and ambition. Okay, that's the video title for today. So dog, this is another Seamer Attention No Fat video. It is currently November the 11th, dog. If you're on November the 11th, today's your 11th day on No Fat. Excuse me, you are starting to experience increased motivation, ambition, energy, drive, right? Very important. So I want to talk about this shit with y'all, man. Listen, as a man, right, your semen, right, that divine creative energy that was bestowed to you by the ancestors, it was passed down to you, right? This energy is very potent. It is the strongest energy known to mankind, right? You got to stop spilling that shit, man, right? If you can harness this energy, I promise you, you're going to be more motivated. You're going to be more driven, purposeful, more masculine, right? Very important video. So you guys don't understand that you have no motivation simply, right? Because you beat your meat all day, right? You beat your meat all day, G. Let me tell you something. Porn is the most disgusting thing in the goddamn world. Like, I can never look at that shit ever again. Ah, uh, that shit is disgusting. That shit is designed to destroy you as a man. And it's destroying y'all ass, okay? Y'all have no idea how porn is affecting you on a regular basis, bro. It is. I know it's an addiction, G. I was there. Oh, like a fucking weirdo. Feminine, bitch-ass, punk-ass, lowlife. You're a loser if you watch porn. Right? Because if you were a winner, you would have women in your life you could get and really have sex with them. You're having sex with the real thing, Right? But you're a fucking loser. You're a loser. So listen, before I dive in deep, right? I gotta make one pause right quick. So anyways, like I was saying, you gotta legitimately quit the porn, quit the masturbation, bruh. That's why a lot of y'all are unmotivated to do shit because you are throwing away that semen, that sexual energy that's going to drive you to get to the next level, right? Yo, semen, bro, that shit is what makes you a man, bruh. But when you throwing it away, you are becoming a girl, right? You are losing sight of your vision, sight of your purpose, bro. Feel me? So listen, a man's sexual energy will drive him to do great things. That's your power that you have as a man. That's the power that was bestowed to you from the ancestors, right? But society, the government, right? They already knew the type of power you could have if you can control that shit. That's why porn is free. They don't want you to be successful. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to be motivated. They want you to be depressed, sad, angry. They want you to hate yourself. They want you to be in fear all the time. And as a man, you ain't supposed to be in fear, bro. But when you masturbate and jack off, <gasps> all day, every day, guess the fuck what? You're gonna be walking around this bitch in fear. You fucking, bro. That shit is a whole trap. It's to destroy your mentality, bro. It's, it's supposed to turn you into a bitch. You know, the more you masturbate, Bruh, you could turn gay off that shit, bruh. I swear to God. Uh, the more you watch porn, I swear to God, you are going to inevitably turn yourself into a punk. I swear to God, y'all ain't know that? Yeah, the more you keep looking at the demonic website, even if you ain't looking at that category of porn, which would be gay, right? Bro, you are turning yourself into a fucking punk every day when you do that. A lot of y'all already having these weird thoughts, right? Like, what the fuck? That's because that shit is, is desensitizing you, bro. It's making you fucking feminine. It's, it's like destroying your spirit. It's corrupting your spirit, and you got too much demons influencing you to do some shit that goes against nature, right? And if you gay watching this video, I'm not trying to target you. My thing is, I know the truth, but one thing I'm big on and I stand on is this. If you gay, you gay. As long as you are happy, bro, right? Because in this life, the most high, the universe, want everybody to be happy with who, who they are. That's what the age of Aquarius is about, right? So if you gay, cool. I'm just speaking on some real shit. But if you gay watching this video, I have no problems with you. I don't support it. I'm not against it. I am neutral, right? But all that matters is that you love yourself, you take care of yourself, and you accept yourself before anybody else do. Any person who walk around this whole gay, I salute you 100%. Because a lot of people is hiding who they really are. Because they're scared of what people think. So if you gay and you walk around this whole knowing you gay and everybody know, 
and you don't give a fuck, I salute you 100% on that one because during these times, right, the realest thing you can do is be your damn self. That's what the age of Aquarius is about. Stop being fake. Stop being somebody you're not. Be who the fuck you is, man. Right? Stop hiding who you are. Be you. Let everybody see the real you. Feel me? Who gives a fuck what people think? The age of Aquarius is about the revealing the truth, nigga. Be who you is. Be your true, authentic self. Get what I'm saying? Who gives a fuck, man? If you gay, you gay. Come out and say it, man. Be free. You scared what people gonna say? Who gives a fuck, man? Fuck them. Who gives a fuck? This is your life. Don't let people keep you. Right? Don't let people keep you in a box. Keep you trapped or feeling guilty and shame about yourself. Right? Do you. That's what the age of Aquarius is about. Regardless if it goes against nature. Da -da -da -da. As long as you accept yourself, you love yourself, you embrace who you are. Whether you gay, straight, good shit. Be you. Right? People will respect you when you just be your damn self. But you hide in who you is, so you can't be who you really is, bro. That's what the age of Aquarius is. Be yourself. The truth is coming out. Nigga, if you an undercover brother, just come out, man. Shit, you like niggas, date niggas. Right? If you bisexual, okay, you like niggas and bitches, cool. Stop hiding it. Nobody cares, bro. People are going to accept you for you. And if they don't, fuck them. You motherfuckers live in a fucking box, a cage. That's a cage when you can't be yourself and you hiding who you is, bro. I can't do it. I'm just going to be me, bitch, and I'm being me right now. I can't fake this shit no more. I ain't coming to be fake, nigga. I'm as real as it gets. Nigga, I'm a spiritual warrior. I'm a warrior from the cosmos. I'm a light being and it's showing. I'm being me. So you just be your damn self during these times. And that's the realest thing you can do. Be yourself and accept yourself. And guess what? No matter what a bitch or a nigga say, they ain't gonna have no choice but to accept you because you accept yourself. Everything starts with you. All right? So listen, aside from that, back to the topic and I'm gonna wrap this shit up, man. Your sexual energy is very important as a man. If you relapse today, get back on NoFap. Right? Go celebrate for the rest of this month, man. It's a continuous discipline. It's hard, but you got to get up to speed. You want to become successful, you got to learn to control yourself. If you can't control yourself, you can't control your life. If you can't control yourself, you can't control your wives. That's how it is. Everything starts with you, G. So your sexual energy will drive you to get to the next level. It will make you confident. You'll be motivated. Right? You won't be depressed, sad, unhappy. Because you got that energy flowing through you. And that energy is awakening your spirit. When you masturbate, you are suppressing your spirit, right? You have a spirit in the body. But when you masturbate, you are suppressing your higher self. But when you go celibate and you let that energy build up for a certain period of time, you are literally allowing your higher self to be birthed once again. That's who you really are. You're supposed to be happy. When you're happy and you feel that love for yourself, you are your higher self. When you feel depressed, sad, you got anxiety, you're not... Feeling your best, nigga, that's your lower self, the flesh, nigga. So look, I'm gonna wrap this shit up, man. I love you guys so much. Y'all stay tuned for more content. And yeah, thug, go out, gang.